Welcome to episode 22 of Cheap Wine and 29. Today I'm drinking another $2.99 bottle of Bowler's Rum. I'm sorry, but it's all I can afford at the moment. And $2.99 is an absolute bargain for a bottle of wine. It's actually quite drinkable. So for the second video in a row, it's Bowler's Rum. It is about time that a winery or some sort of wine company started sponsoring me for this show. I mean, I could be plugging their wine each and every week on YouTube. So if anyone knows anyone that works in a, some sort of wine business, please get them onto me and sponsor me and I will drink their wine and put it on the internet, all right? I have no problems being paid to promote wine. So I know that a lot of you are probably very shocked and upset by the results in America last week. No one really seems to be happy with the outcome and I completely agree. I too cannot believe that Robert chose Eric in the season finale of Finding Prince Charming. Eric is so boring, Brandon should definitely have won. There is no way that Robert and Eric are going to stay together. They had the most awkward, boring conversations. Oh wait, did you think I was talking about the other results in America? Oh yeah, that's right. Donald Trump is the next president of the United States of America. Oh, I needed that. All right, so where were we? That's right, Donald Trump is the next president of the United States of America. I'm sorry, but that is just fucking scary. I mean, I didn't like Hillary either, but fuck me, Donald Trump? a little bit sick right now. So what else has been happening? Um, well, we just had a rent inspection today. Um, I couldn't be bothered getting the vacuum cleaner out last night, so I just got one of those cheap IKEA lint rollers and just went around all the dirty patches of carpet and just used a roller on it to pick up all the dirt. Look how well it works. It actually works. We pass inspection, no problems at all. Job update, I am now officially working in a pharmacy at Gwellop full time. So the Claremont debacle is in the past. I have moved on to bigger and better things. Dating life, um, still a bit of a disaster. Um, it showed some promise for a while, but nothing solid. I was dating this younger guy and uh, we had a date lined up for Thursday night and he messages me the morning of saying I've got to cancel on tonight because as of last night I'm in a relationship. I was like, oh okay. And then four hours later he messages me again saying, oh actually that didn't work out. This turned out, this guy turned out to be psychotic or something and needed to see a psychiatrist before he could commit to anybody or something and this guy didn't want to be put on lay-by so it's like, oh well, how about the date after all? So we hung out the next day and I was pretty keen on this guy actually and I told him that and he was keen on me we decided to take the dating more seriously. Um, I thought we were in a good place. But then the following day he came up on my news feed on Facebook saying in a relationship with someone else and not me, not the guy from a couple of nights before but a third guy and I was like, how many people are you dating mate? It turned out he was dating like three people at once and was just bouncing relationships between them. So, that's what I get for dating younger guys. I never learn. This weekend I'm off to Sydney for a wedding, so I'm there for five days. Maybe I'll find a Sydney husband. Who knows? And there's certainly more gay guys over there, so Sydney, I'm coming, alright? So you better be prepared. Another big announcement I have, this is a Cheap One and 29 exclusive. I'm officially announcing that I have applied for season two of Australian Survivor. Yes, I am hoping to be on the island, and believe me, I'm watching season one of Australian Survivor. Oh, those guys were useless. Like, those contestants were all completely useless. I know I'm better than all of them. I know I can win Survivor, so please put me on the island. I'll be an amazing character on the show. So Survivor 2017, make it happen. In preparation for Survivor, I've intensified my health kick. But I really do exercise and work out. If you don't believe me, here is some proof. Well, it is 6.57 a.m. I am walking through East Perth on my way to Stadium Fitness. 
plug for the gym there. I fucking hate mornings. I hate mornings so much. I am half asleep. Like shit, bed hair. Oh dear. Please confirm to me for my viewers that I do in fact go to the gym and I do in fact work out. No? Then I'm not what you do working out. Well what do you what do we call this then? Me being here at 7am in the morning at the gym. Okay. Can you at least film me doing it? Alright, thank you Mitch for making me look stupid and not letting me film in the gym, but I promise you I do actually work out and under this, under this double rainbow, there actually is some muscle. Thank you for watching Cheap One and 29. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like it, share it, subscribe, leave a comment below and follow me on Instagram. I will see you next time for Cheap One and 29. I wonder what I'd do with the $500,000 prize money from Survivor. It's a lot of cheap wine. Probably buy my own house and get my first cat. Could also buy a lot more of these lint rollers. These things clean everything. Tables. To be honest, knowing my luck, I'd probably be voted off the island in the first tribal council on the first episode. That would certainly get me a point for Terminic of the Year.